how can I change my J1 visa to F1 visa? Well, you could change your J1 visa to F1 visa if you were to stay in the United States and study, you know, either for language or academic training. If you, you know, would like to attend uh, for a credit academic institution in the United States, such as university or college, then, you know, you could actually apply for a fund visa to be able to do that. And, you know, the idea here will be if the foreign students will be able to, uh, the time that they need to stay in the U.S., uh, as long as, you know, if they continue their studies, they're going to be able to stay here. And of course, once they finish their studies, they may be eligible for work visa, you know, opportunities like under OPT. And of course, the, the benefit will be changing your status from J1 to F1 will be basically will allow you to pursue your course of study at an accredited institution in the United States, provided that, of course, you meet the requirements of F1 student visa. And of course, in order to change your status, you have to apply to USCIS with the proper documents and try to get your uh, you know approval. But one thing that you want to keep in mind is that during the, because of the administration's uh, changes that they made it to policies, now even if you're changing from J1 to F1, you want to make sure that you maintain another status uh, right after your J1 ends. So that means if you're applying for F1 before your J1 ends, that when your J1 ends technically, even though your F1 is pending, you're not going to have a status. So you want to make sure you file B2 status also, change your status to B2, just to close that gap so that you don't actually get denial for your F1 change of status. So I would like to also listeners or followers understand that you want to make sure that this change of status application or extensions have becoming little tough actually and becoming little difficult to overcome. So you want to make sure that you know the up-to-date information or you get a really legal help, a proper legal help through an attorney to make sure that you don't get a de you know denial and actually face with removal deportation. Because there are some changes such as you know, now actually whoever filing change of status or extension, they will have to give the fingerprint, basically biometrics. And now they're going to pay more money for that. It was 370 but now it's 455 But that's not the problem here. The problem is you want to make sure that your extension or your change actually gets granted so that you don't face with the removal process. Because now if, they, if those applications get denied and you don't leave or you don't oppose it or appeal it, then you might be facing with actual removal or uh, deportation proceedings right away. That's something that I would like to change your status applicants to be careful about it. Mm -hmm.